Kate from GetPharmacyAdvice.com. I just wanted to first wish you a happy Labor Day weekend. Um, I hope it's more exciting than mine. I just stayed around town and relaxed, which is nice. Um, but it's kind of creepy here in Charlotte. Everybody seemed to leave. It's like the zombies came and took everybody but me. And I'm hiding out. I don't know. But in any case, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to give you a quick blurb on the interaction between St. John's wort and oral contraceptives. Now, St. John's wort comes from a flowering plant. It's a perennial flowering plant. Um, so it is an herb or an all-natural medication. It's been used for many centuries in Europe um, to treat mild to moderate depression, and it kind of picked up here in the United States as an alternative medicine to the um, standard antidepressants. It can also be used for to as a topical preparation to accelerate to wound and burn healing, and it can improve muscle soreness and tightness and also neuralgia, which is nerve pain. Now, these other findings are a little, have fewer studies or evidence behind them, but that's what they're thought to be able to be used for. Um, and then, as we all know, oral contraceptives, or if you don't know, it's also known as birth control. That's the more familiar term to us all. And birth control, its major main use, not major, but main use is to prevent pregnancy. So when you take St. John's wort and birth control or oral contraceptives together, they, there have been case reports that show that um, St. John's, John's wort breaks down the estrogen component of birth control. And when this happens, there are lower doses of the estrogen called ethanol estradiol, which is the main estrogen that's used in pretty much all of the oral contraceptives. Um, and when you get the lower doses of the estrogen, estrogen that means the birth control is not going to work nearly as well. So there have been case reports of breakthrough bleeding or irregular menstrual bleeding. Um, throughout one cycle, and also undesired pregnancy, which whew, for some that would not be good, especially if they're using it to prevent a pregnancy. So, as, in addition to um, the estrogen-containing oral contraceptives, it, uh, researchers have found that the that St. John's wort probably will decrease the efficacy of progestin-only oral contraceptives and also non-oral combination oral contraceptives. So, any kind of injectable or um, intrauterine device or anything like that. And also any any of the hormone replacement therapy medications can be affected by St. John's Wort as well. They won't work nearly as well. Therapeutic efficacy will be lowered by St. John's Wort, or that's what they believe, and there's, there's some evidence behind it. So um, if you find yourself taking St. John's Wort and you are um, on any of the medications that I've previously described, such as the oral contraceptives, hormone replacement therapy, or the non-oral, um, combination OCs, then you should probably make sure that you're, you don't have any breakthrough bleeding. If you notice signs of breakthrough bleeding, contact your doctor and also stop St. John's Wort as soon as possible because um, it probably means that your medication, your prescription medication isn't working as well or as, as it should be. Um, and also, just in general, you should avoid taking St. John's Wort with um, the oral contraceptives or, or the hormone replacement therapy, just as a rule of thumb. It's not worth taking them together. And then there's always, you know, questionable um, evidence of how effective St. John's Word is for mild to moderate depression anyway. So maybe there are other options out there. And that pretty much concludes my little blurb on the interaction between St. John's Word and oral contraceptives. If you have any questions, please visit our site, my friend Nova and I started the site, www.getpharmacyadvice.com. So visit us there. Come with any questions or comments, and we'll be there. All right, thank you. Bye.